Well, it's five after the hour, so that means it's time for this week's uh, Ecosystem Office Hours call. I'm your host, Jinx, and joined, as always, by the best and brightest in the pocket ecosystem. Uh, we'll start things off with community updates from Zach. Hello, Jinx, and thank you. Um, we've got some logistics this week. I think uh, the big one is we won't have office hours later today. Uh, but we are going to open additional office hours next week because retro PGF voting is starting. And so I think Murdad's going to talk a little bit more about it after. But the big thing is, if you are a voter, retro PGF voting will start on Monday. And uh, there was a great little presentation this morning by Ben and Murdad with some information about it. If you are a voter, please, please, please watch it. There are some important things, including conflicts of interest, that you really need to pay attention to. Um, or if you're just looking for instructions on how to do it properly, uh, they did a great job. So retro PGF next week, office hours on Monday and Wednesday. Um, the Discord server will be up to date. And if you want to come in on Monday or Wednesday and just do them together, uh, we'll be hosting kind of a hangout and, and get your votes in session. So try to make it a little more fun. Uh, what else? Yeah, there is going to be... Go on. I've had a lot of questions about the the conflict of interest, uh, given that so many of us voters are, you know, connected to some sort of entity within the space. Uh, yeah. How many are left that don't have a supposed conflict of interest under these rules? Well, I mean, uh, there's going to be official documentation coming out shortly, so that's why we collected emails. But the gist of it is you can't vote for your own project, Jinx. So, like, if you are up there as a... Uh, as a project, you need to attribute your votes to other ones and not to your own. Uh, and then if you don't, you could be disqualified. But I think we're going to have some official ruling and documentation around it. So um, if there are things that need to be cleared up, that's what those office hours are for. So come to the office hours. We can uh, we can either make a ruling then or note it as a thing to solve when we go through the um, – there's a board of, that's going to be tackling conflicts. And so we can, mm -hmm. we can make a note of that. The, the point is for everybody to be able to vote. We're not trying to, like, do any gotchas, right? Beautiful. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. Yep. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to just call out is uh, the quick grants updates that went in this week. So uh, we've gone through and we've reviewed those and we're just doing the adjustments and reaching out to people right now. So if you are a quick grant recipient, um, just expect to hear something by the end of the week. Fantastic. And can you uh, paste the link to that uh, call from this morning in the sidebar if it's ready? It's not ready yet, but Jerry will post it in. Uh, we have a retro PGF channel if you do have any questions. Um, but Jerry will post it in there and it'll go up on our YouTube likely later today, maybe first thing tomorrow. Perfect. I'm adding that channel now. Thank you, sir. And Shane, do you want to give us some protocol updates? Yeah, sure deal. Uh, one of the coolest things uh, happening this week is the uh, the SDK is being uh, fully separated from the uh, main repo. And the benefits of this is uh, the ecosystem could start utilizing the SDK with inside products, um, with inside gateways, with inside um, uh, node running, uh, potentially itself as well. So there's a lot of cool uh, use cases for the SDK, uh, one thing that will uh, that PNF is going to start looking into is is getting it integrated into Gateway Server itself. Uh, this means that people could actually have Gateway Server uh, deployments uh, inside of uh, the Shannon testnet. So that's really cool to see. Um, uh, work is continuing on the uh, uh, relay mining and uh, uh, probabilistic. Uh, proofs. Um, there's a lot of technical uh, technical things that are currently being done right now. Um, all of it is obviously in GitHub, but those are two other primary areas that the protocol team is focusing on. The idea is to get the phase in phase two uh, of testnet. We will be able to uh, really start testing out everything from relay mining to uh, uh, these improvements to probabilistic proofs, and so. Anyways, a lot of cool things going uh, going on there. Uh, in terms of some other uh, kind of adjacent things happening, uh, we are going to be releasing. Uh, I have finished a what what I'm calling a Shannon overview. Um, the team has reviewed it. There's a few more comments on it, but really, what it'll do is it'll help give everyone a really clear understanding of 
of what is being built, kind of how it how all these different actors are going to work together in a really digestible way. So I'm not coming at this from a developer from necessarily like a documentation standpoint. It's more of just like a uh, allow someone who's, you know, interested in pocket kind of really understand how all the different work uh, actors work together. Uh, what are their incentives um, and give a high level understanding of then how the tokenomics will uh, operate then within Shannon as well. So right at the tail end of starting to release a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of stuff, uh, the AI light paper has been released as well. Uh, and so uh, Oshansky and Ramiro uh, led up that effort. Um, and so that's, you know, not necessarily directly uh, protocol related, but that's something cool. Uh, and then I'm currently working on the Gandalf V2. Uh, I've gotten a uh, uh, gotten a draft uh, to some folks in PNF. And so we're currently discussing it and, and figuring out exactly uh, uh, figuring out the de details of it, but that is something that will be coming up very shortly. So I kind of have a few few work things between Gandalf, uh, the Shannon overview, and tokenomics that is all going to be released uh, relatively soon in the next uh, next week or so. And then uh, uh, on top of that, I just want to also do one more shout out for joining this testnet phase. Uh, anyone can join the public testnet. What we're really wanting to do is we want to get down uh, the deployment side. So we want everyone to test out deploying gateways, deploying uh, service nodes or ser uh, suppliers, I should say, because we really want to uh, figure out any bugs or, or anything that we should do or optimize on the deployment side so that then we can start really heavily testing the function side uh, with the protocol going into the second uh, uh, alpha phase of testnet. So we haven't announced exactly when the alpha phase of testnet will be. It's dependent on uh, uh, relay mining and some of these other elements, but it's just really important that we get folks participating in the public testnet, especially utilizing the uh, uh, example deployment uh, scripts and tools that, that the team has provided uh, so that we can hopefully close out this time of feedback, focus on the deployment itself, and then focus fully on functionality moving forward. So any node runners here who have not deployed a Shannon node, please do so and let us know any feedback. There is a Shannon general uh, uh, channel that anyone can post in. And so if you're running into any issues or, or you have any uh, feedback, definitely jump into that Shannon general and share your thoughts uh, or share your feedback. Also, Feel free to post on uh, GitHub as well. Love collecting issues in uh, GitHub. So that's everything on the protocol side. Fantastic. Uh, Olshansky, anything extra to add on there from an AI working group perspective? I saw your paper published. That was awesome. Nice to see in a journal. Um, not yet. Uh, regarding protocol, I think they nailed it. And on the AI side, just stay tuned for more. Uh, ads and PNF are working on comms, secondary materials, uh, and we'll be publishing a lot of that uh, soon. Beautiful. Thanks, sir. Uh, gateway updates. I don't see anybody from Grove. Is Blades with us? No. Okay. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll jump in on the Grove side. Okay, cool. So, no major updates with regard to core features, but on the AI side, from growth perspective, we are kicking off the pilot. So something we did a couple of weeks ago is that there is a beta chain whitelisted on mainnet. Um, and that'll basically be used to test out the LLM pilot being led by growth. And then I'll do it before from the system. So stay tuned for there as well. And if you want to use uh, an LLM on pocket, please do reach out. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, sir. Was there an additional note there? Okay, cool. Uh, Raid Guild? Or Porters, sorry. Yeah, I got one for Porters. Um, just quick, uh, 
we are live. Um, we haven't seen a ton of traffic coming through yet because mainly our big point of contact is Tyco, and um, we're still working with them to get uh, get ourselves established as their go to RPC. Uh, we saw some coming in this weekend, but not too much. Um, the exciting, more exciting news though is that we have another agreement with the new chain. Expect to be bringing them on the near future, as well as this deal also marks the um, the first SDK package that we're going to be offering because that was one of the hopefully or like our intended um, market offerings is providing SDK packages for cool code, uh, cool utilities to for developers to implement in their front ends. So. Um, that will be the first portal that be released and hope to have an update on that within a couple weeks. Fantastic. And dev now, you guys have any up? Oh wait, but uh, before that, I was just going to say, I, I've heard some rumblings this morning around a Tyco airdrop. So maybe there might be a lot more traffic on the way. Um, but, um, Dev down. You guys have any updates to share? Could someone share the AI working paper here? Thanks. Also, it's not a journal. Okay, fine, Ramiro. Geez. Steal my sunshine. Just a request to everyone on the call, even though uh, the AI paper has been published in archive, please refrain from like sharing it too broadly on social media right now. Um, you know, we are a small typing community, but we want to get a lot of eyes and attention from the broader Web3 NAI ecosystem. So we're really trying to tailor that, um, tar target our media um, efforts there. Word, sounds good. Thank you. No dev now updates, son. Okay. Any other gateway updates that uh, we need the community to be aware of that I haven't called yet? All right, Groovy. Then, Mayor Dodd, uh, floor is yours. Thank you, Jinx. Uh, I think Zach mentioned all of the important stuff, but just to reiterate, uh, we're going to open the voter... Uh, the voting period on Monday next week and uh, during this time from today until Monday we are doing the assessment to make sure that there are no conflicts and everything is in check everyone please make sure to if you were in the meeting before where we went through all of the voting mechanism and why behind the why behind it uh, that's great if not make sure to watch it if you have any questions any problems you can reach out to us on the retro PGF <laughs> Panel or join the office hour calls. It's going to be on Monday and Wednesday. Uh, myself and the other members of PNF are going to be there. We're going to just make sure that you are, uh, you have everything that you need. And if you have any questions, we are there to answer it. And yeah, uh, the voting period is going to be two weeks. Uh, where you have enough time to go through each and every project, make sure that you understand them, have discussions with your peers, and submit your ballot. And after that, uh, we're going to uh, do the calculation and do the distribution in a one-month vesting period. Fantastic. Any questions about that? Seems like I'm the one mostly with questions, and it's mostly around conflict of interest. <laughs> yeah, regarding conflict of interest, uh, the, the only matter is that uh, we ask voters not to vote for their own project. I really advise that you read the code of conduct. Everything has been explained there with great details. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to us on the channel or join the first office hour and we can discuss it in more detail. Beautiful. I, I guess, you know, for me, it's it's kind of a complicated question or maybe more complicated than a lot of folks. 
Um, because I mean, obviously I'm not allowed to vote for mine, which, okay, fine. I'll change my strategy. Um, but it is to what degree do we consider connected? I've probably, you know, worked with or helped support many uh, entities within the ecosystem. Um, are we keeping that tight to, you can't vote for your own, but any other vote is fine. Um, I think this is a question that really Ben has to answer, but uh, from my perspective, and I, I really don't know how integrated you or other uh, members of the community are, because I'm a bit new here, but uh, if you can sleep uh, uh, okay at night and uh, vote uh, to a project, I think that's fine. But more details in the office hour where uh, Ben and Jack are present to answer this question. Beautiful. Okay. I'll try to make sure that uh, I am present for that. Yeah, and I did uh, I did mention that there will be uh, information sent out to everybody. So, you know, that that's hopefully going to be much clearer in the email that goes out. And I think that's going to be in the next two days. OK, got it. Well, that, that will certainly make it a lot easier, too. And I did get the first one today. So confirm that's all working. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Who uses email in Web3 anymore? Wild. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you could have just sent me a million pocket and put the the memo uh, message. You know that that would have reached me. Okay, well, with those announcements out of the way, uh, anybody have other topics to discuss today or questions regarding anything in the ecosystem? Shannon Testnet, all that good stuff. Hello, everybody. Thinks I have something for all the gateway operators. Absolutely. Um, just a little reminder to please, uh, if you are able to share with us the the information, like Nodis is doing, for those uh, gateway that are already running, will be great. So that will bring more visibility for for everyone, not just for. Uh, the node runners, also the people that are consuming or using those gateways, will see how they are, where they are. So that brings visibility to for Pocket Network, indeed. Perfect. And and to be a little more clear here, um, we're talking about providing uh, reporting APIs. Um, the yep. the rise of disparate gateways, while great for the ecosystem. Um, does move us away from having a centralized performance measurement source. And it's really going to be on gateways individually to help contribute to that data at large. So, you know, for for porters and DevDAO and, and anyone who's, I don't know if we have any Liquify folks here, I don't think so. Um, for anyone who's bringing up new gateways, um, please, please, please uh, uh, try to make some reporting APIs available to Pocket Scan, who does God's work in trying to uh, coalesce the massive amount of data that's uh, available around the network itself. And if you need some sort of a structure for that API, I'm sure if you reach out to uh, Jorge or or uh, any of the Pocket Scan team, I'm I'm confident they would be able to provide some templates for that. Yeah, we, we are following the standard from what is exposed right now in Gateway Server. So everyone that is already using Gateway Server should be easy to, to bring us the, the information. I know a lot of folks uh, um, may have heard some of the, the greater discussions around QoS on the network. Uh, Pocket Scan has obviously put a lot of thought into that. I know Grove has has done some some deep thinking about what does QoS mean, especially uh, when we start serving up like LLMs. Um, and uh, there are a few other folks that uh, have asked some you know real important questions about that. But QoS is fundamentally one of the differentiating factors between decentralized data providers. Um, the amount of time that it takes to retrieve data matters. And that's probably less uh, important on uh, UIs where there's some visual delay that's built in and expected, like, you know, a loading screen on a DeFi game or something along that line. Um, but for many of the um, 
uses of decentralized data, getting accurate data very quickly is a critical necessity for their RPC or, or other forms of data transmission providers. Um, so the more information that we have available to measure QoS, to discuss what metrics are important in QoS, et cetera, uh, the better the entire ecosystem performs, the more attractive Pocket is as a protocol, and the more money we all make as being members of the ecosystem. So uh, it is definitely in your best interest to work collaboratively in this arena. One other thing I'm going to call out is, I know RFPs are a lot of work, GitHub issues are a lot of effort, but as part of testnet, uh, stand in testnet, we also put up a Google form, a very lightweight Google form, two multiple choice, one open in a text box for you to send ideas. So over the years, everyone has lots of ideas around how things should be, even if it's as simple as add on chain QoS or as long as here are five paragraphs around how I think on chain QoS should be. Um, it's a great way for a great lightweight way to just send it so that we can collect it on our end and prioritize it uh, either before or after mainnet launch. Please check that out. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. Any questions about any of that? Sounds like a no. Okay, cool. Well, open floor then. Whatever you're feeling, what, any topic you like that's in any tangential way related to the pocket ecosystem, the mic's yours. Well, if nobody else has any burning things to contribute or discuss or to ask or anything along that line, I'm certainly happy to give you a half hour of your life back. But I'll leave it rolling for another few to see if anybody changes their mind. <laughs> all right well sounds like everybody's in good shape for this week so we'll call it here i'll see y'all next time same channel or next week same time, same channel, something along that line. And uh, we'll see y'all collectively on the next call. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Jinx.